Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Minneapolis today at the Second Swing Minneapolis store with Thomas Ellsbury, who's the GM of the store here and one of Second Swing's master fitters. We're going to do something exciting today. Obviously, a big part of what we do at Second Swing is club fitting. We think we do it as well as anybody. We wish everybody could come in here and get fit, but realistically, we know that's not the chance. But with launch monitors becoming more and more prevalent in golf, people having access to them, we wanted to talk to them about launch monitor data and the metrics they should really be focusing their attention on the way you would in a fitter. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about what's most important to you from a fitting standpoint as you dive through all these different numbers that are available to you. Yeah, definitely. I know um, what's been very unique with all these launch monitors, they're getting very, very good and very detailed. Um, so we're able to really fine tune what's going on. And what we found is there's four categories that we really look at that really if we hone in those four, it sort of takes care of everything else. So the first one we're going to talk about is ball speed, uh, launch angle. Uh, the last number here is going to be spin rate. So that's where this radius gets a little bit bigger because it's ball speed slightly different every swing and spin rate slightly different every swing. So between the call of the three big numbers and making them more consistent, I'll make it go further and into a tighter radius for you so you can play a better golf. Um, if we tighten up every one of those windows, we're going to make that 7 arm pretty darn good and hit a lot of greens. Um, and that's how, again, our goal is make your handicap go down. That's our way of doing it. And it's important for players to know that there's not a one size fits all. There's not an ideal launch angle for everybody, not an ideal spin rate for everybody. It's how it works for you in correlation with the way you swing the club, your club head speed and other factors as well. Oh, no doubt. And, like, and this, everyone has their unique tendencies. Um, like if your swing speed goes up or down, all these variables change too when it comes to launch, spin, and ball speed. Um, and then I'll say like, if you and I are playing the same course, like, I have different windows that I want to hit. I want to hit the ball nice and low. Um, so I'm going to have a lot more spin than you're going to have on your 7-iron because um, that's how I'm going to stop the golf ball with spin. Um, where you're going to hit the ball a lot higher than me, so if there's a tree in the way, you're going to be able to get over it, and I'm going to go around it. Um, but every golfer is unique. They have their own DNA. And so I don't necessarily usually change that. I just try to make it better. And, you know, for some of the players who come in at four fittings who've maybe been on a launch monitor before, what are some of maybe the numbers that they're paying attention to that they don't shouldn't really be worrying about? Um, one, a little bit, is total distance. Um, I know we want to see the ball go far. Um, but... I always say total distance doesn't travel from course to course um, or doesn't travel from weather to weather to weather uh, because every day is a little bit different. We know that. I'm going to be swinging slightly different. I might be playing on a soft or a firm course. could be windy that day. So if I really focus in on the carry number, cool. That is basically if I'm as long as I'm in the same elevation, it's going to go about the same distance. That total distance number is probably the one I get people wor too much worried about. Uh, and if you worry about carry and consistency, then that's where you get better. Yeah, and it's important to also note that the same metrics that you just talked about are also going to equate to a driver. The spin, huh. the launch, ball speed, and variance. That's what you're looking at. Exactly. All the metrics are the same, just the numbers we're looking for are different. Um, like, yeah, a driver I do want rolling out, so I'm going to get a little lower spin on that than I would with an iron. Uh, but if you focus on those four metrics, it's going to be a really good driver that hits a lot of fairways. And it's interesting, after I hit some shots and we got some data, you asked me an interesting question. You asked me, would you be more interested in more distance or would you be interested in more consistency? And that's a question that if, if you're a golfer who's not going to be able to get fit at second swing but you're going to get fit somewhere else, mm -hmm. You want your fitter to ask you that because that's important because ultimately this is going to be about your game and the way you want to play. And no doubt. I said that question seems simple at the front. Like yeah, everyone wants to be a little more consistent, um, and and everyone wants to hit the ball further for that matter too. But like, we, there's there's a nice balance there. Uh, and for your end, you answered more consistent. So can I make all those deviations go down? Um, there's going to be I got plenty of golfers who just want to hit it further. Awesome. Well, then we might try to you know, really manufacture launch and spin a little differently to make that ball go further than it normally would. Um, and I, there's no right or wrong answer um, because it's all about enjoyment of the golf game. So for some golfers hitting their 700, 700, 210 yards, that makes them happy. Cool. Let's make your 700 go 210 yards. Um, you might not hit a green, but at least they're having fun playing golf and they got right. what they wanted out of it. Um, but if you make it more consistent, like you're a better player, yeah, your scores are going to get better. You're going to be closer to par every time you play. Yeah, it's great information. And so if you're 
somebody out there watching this video, obviously if you can get into a second swing, we know we can help you play better golf, get you fit and do the right set of clubs. But if you're going to get out on a launch monitor, take Thomas's advice to heart. Focus on those metrics, and you're going to be able to, you know, take advantage of that time you've got on the launch monitor to help you better understand your golf game. Thomas, great stuff. We awesome. appreciate it. Anytime. Thank <laughs> you.